My favorite album was John Bon Jovi. It came out in 1984. NJ Home. That's the name of the album. And off of the album, honestly, I can name every song on that album and the ones I like. I like Living on a Prayer. Because that's that was the kind of song that you could relate to. It was the kind of song basically it told a story about a husband and a wife. His wife was working in a diner, basically, and he was working at um at a loading dock. You know, and basically the song is stating that he stating to her that no matter what happens, things will get better, life will get better. So they're living on a prayer. Yeah. The more that they pray, the more things will get better for them. And that's basically what the song was stating. Also, I also like um Dead or Alive. It's a song about like being rebellious, you know, and the reason why I like about that song because I can relate to it whenever I'm in the mood, like when I feel like the world is against me and everything, I can listen to that song, you know, and I'm, I'm giving it real, that was my favorite album, and also like, uh, that song, I like It's My Life, it's basically, It's My Life is basically stating that it's my life and what I'm, the choices I make now can either affect and improve my future or it can, you know, damage my future. Like also like, um, Bad Medicine, basically talk about a girl that hurt him real bad. I also like um, Always, and I'll Be There For You, that was on the album. And there's a couple other more songs I can name, but there's a whole life. I sit here and name a, whole, a lot of songs, take up too much time, but that was my favorite album, you know? That album by John, John Bon Jovi. And also, another another fact from there, they're from New Jersey, they're from Sayreville. The group is from Sayreville. They've been, they sold over 100 million records throughout the whole career that they made. They dropped about five albums since like 1980, so. That was my favorite album. The state of hip hop right now, hip hop as a genre is still out there. You know, when you go look at records, it's still a genre, but as of like real hip hop, it's dead. You know, everybody that claimed their rap and their MCs, and everything, they're all singing now. Everything's going more to like technology and computers. You know, you put your voice in a computer and you got an album. So honestly, that's what I think of the state of hip hop. It took me a while, but I summed it all up. My favorite movie that I really, really like is Scarface. And the reason being is that Scarface doesn't really a lot of necessarily relate to me, but also relates to certain, certain people in my family because Scarface was somebody who came from nothing, basically. You know, coming from Cuba with nothing. Like, it was nothing. And it shows and proves to you that with hard work, you could get somewhere. Whether you go the bad route or you go the good route, it doesn't matter. As long as you got ambition, you got hard work and dedication behind it, you can get as far as you want to go. You know, and when I think of Scarface, I think a lot of my brother was an attorney, the only person in our family to become an attorney, like the most successful person at all. You know, he was an immigrant as well, coming from Haiti, and he used to work in like the shittiest places. He used to work at McDonald's for like two years. He used to fucking clean cars and shit. Like he used to work in the shittiest places, but he also found a way to go to school. He got his degree in Haiti and he got his degree in America at, Calif at Northwestern University in California. In the process, again, everything that he wanted, he was also blinded by his ambition to the point that he thought he was untouchable. And that was really his downfall, you know? The thought in the back of his head that he's untouchable. When you think you're untouchable, that's always gonna be your downfall. When you think that you know somebody could get to you, that's how you can be more cautious and more careful. And with Scarface, he wasn't like that. The unthinkable happened, the person you least expect caught him. If I make it in the music industry, I mean if I make it then I want to be known as like, whether if it's not even, if it's not the greatest, at least one of the people out there that actually caught the ears of a lot of people and somebody that should remember. I want to be remembered when I die, of course. I don't want to be just another nigga that's fucking buried in his grave and shit. Everybody cries for one day and the next day everybody goes back to work. You know, I want to be remembered and shit for like many years. People be like, going to the internet, like, oh shit, that's Jay Smiles record. Oh, you heard of Jay Smiles? Yeah, he died like 20 years ago. Yo, that shit is hot. You know, that's that's what I want to be. I just want to be remembered. I'm sure everybody in the group wants to be remembered when they, when they die. I mean, I mean, I was at a point in my life where I was confused of why I made music, you know, but that's just part of like being human and, you know, letting people get in your head a lot of times too much. But to be honest, the reason why I like making music is because number one, it's a good, it's a passion of mine. And number two, I don't know, I just feel like when I'm making music with the right people that influence me, like Hood Gang, I just feel like I'm free. Like I'm away from like all the bullshit, you know, all the bullshit at home, all the bullshit on the media. I'm just 
free, you know, and music is a way of like expressing yourself, you know, how you feel. And I just feel like I just feel free when I make music. I love doing that. I love feeling free. I don't want to be, be trapped in like the same routine of a nine to five. You go to work, come back from work, you got fucking kids screaming in your head, you know, you yelling back after them, you got a wife that's cheating on you and shit, and you go back to sleep, you wake up at eight to get ready to go to work at nine. I don't want to be in that routine. I'd rather keep doing something I love doing until the day I die, no matter what people say, as long as I know I tried to make it in music, and I love doing it, and I'm satisfied. My plan is basically to showcase, to like, you know, all our fans, you know, whether on the internet, whether in person, whether people we don't even know about, to showcase to them, like, a different part of me, aside from just being in the group, because I guarantee you, like, all the fans that I have, they all know me basically from Hood Gang, you know? If they say Jay Smiles, like, oh, he's in Hood Gang, you know? Only a few probably be like, yo, they just know Jay Smiles as Jay Smiles, but I want people to see that I can also do my own material, you know, and write, write my own songs, you know, write my own lyrics, you know? Just want to show people a different side of me. Just like show people, just just me. You know, apart from being in the group, just just smiles. That's it. Picking the beats. Well, I had I had I had help with picking the beats. You know, I'm the kind of person. You know, Scholar told me this is the best. I'm the kind of person when I hear a beat, I try to make a hook with the beat too much because of the melody of the beat. But I realize that's not true. You can also make a, a different melody that doesn't go with the beat, but it still rides with it, you know what I'm saying? You know, and I learned that. And I went about picking the beats, just, you know, some beats I liked, some beats I didn't like, but I was like, you know what? It's a different sound, so let me just write a song to it anyway. You know, and that's the way, that's how you figure out the different sound from you and how you can sound the different beats. If you keep doing the same beats, the same kind of beats all over, you're gonna sound the same. It's gonna sound repetitive. It's gonna sound not like not original. Everybody be like, well, he sound like this on this track too. You don't wanna sound the same. So that's why I like picking different beats and gives people a different sound.